All right, what's up guys? So today we're doing some work on the Mark III Supra with the 2JZ in it. Um, got some parts in the mail for this, but I'm still waiting for a little bit more to get in, so I figured I'd start working on some stuff now. So today I was gonna get rid of this intake and uh, start plumbing up the intercooler piping because I have the couplers for that. And um, I also gotta rotate this distributor because right now with li like this, the turbo, hits the spark plug wire here, so I'm gonna try and get it straight up and down. And then I might have to order a plug wire for that, or just a whole new set, I'm not sure yet. But um, I think that's gonna be it, so we'll get started on that now. All right, so I got this uh, janky intake off, as you can see, that was just like a dryer rent 90. And then I hooked it up to the AFM with some intercooler piping. So now I'm just going to take this all apart to get this pipe off of here. And then uh, we can start mocking up the real intercooler piping. Now I'm going to go ahead and fit this up. This is actually a 4 inch to 2.5 inch 90. And I believe that is like a 3 and 3 quarters. So I have this 3 and 3 quarters coupler here. And if I need to I can probably cut a piece of this off to space this down and clamp it in or I might just uh, see if this fits well enough so I can clamp it down and it'll seal. Yeah, so that's pretty loose on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut a piece of this off to use as kind of like a spacer. So that'll clamp on there nice and tight and seal. All right, so the way to cut these down that they tell you is to take a hose clamp so you can actually get a straight line with like a razor blade. So I'm gonna do that now, just hose clamp this down to about the size I need and then I'll cut a piece I need. Alright, so we got this little spacer here. I'll go ahead and throw this on the throttle body and then I'll go ahead and clamp the 90 onto the throttle body, make sure it fits. Spacer, go right here. I'll actually put the uh, factory cut side showing, look nicer. And this should go over this with a little bit of effort. So that's on like so, and then we'll go ahead and tighten this clamp up. Actually, yeah, we'll leave it loose for now so we can rotate it. But yeah, that looks good right there. I don't think that's going to be coming off. Alright, so that's with the radiator in. As you can see, that clears. We got plenty of room right here to just shoot down with an intercooler pipe and uh, plumb it up. Alright guys, so as you saw, that clears the radiator fine. So now I just have to go over to this box of uh, intercooler piping I got with the car. See, it's all just piping in here, and now I gotta make all that fit into a system for this. So I guess we'll do that now. All right, guys, so we've come over here to the parts box. Um, I got these three inch to two and a half inch 90s for the inner core. I'll show you that. They so slide on like that. As you can see, hold on, let me grab a light. So now you can see that toe hook is getting in the way of this intercooler pipe. So for now, I'm just going to remove that, and then um, I might end up making a uh, a different one that won't get in the way. But uh, for now, I'm just going to remove it so I can run the intercooler pipe here. There we go, got the first toe hook out. Now, should be free in here. Let's go and slide this baby on for now. Should be free and clear to run the boost piping right up in here and then go up right here. All right, so I should be able, see I got this 90 here. I don't know if you can see this, but I got this 90 here. If I hold it like this, this goes right up like that. I should be able to put a 45 on the end of there. 
and that's the coupler right up there I gotta merge with. So I'm gonna mark this and cut it. Um, always mark longer than you think you'll need because you never know. So I'll mark it, cut it, and then I'll fit it up and see what I can do. You don't want to do this too tight because this is just aluminum and it'll bend pretty easy. So just get it snug in there. And also if you want a nice straight cut, you can just take some masking tape. Go on the line where you want to cut. And if you get both ends of the masking tape to line up, then mark it, it'll be nice and straight cut. So as you can see, I wrap the masking tape around and both ends line up almost perfectly. So now I'll just trace that with the Sharpie, take it off, and then just follow that line when you cut if you don't have a bandsaw for uh, straight cuts. So as you can see, that cut is nice and straight, almost perfect. So I hope that trick definitely helps for getting nice straight cuts with just a hacksaw or something, which is nice. Alright, so I got that 90 degree fitted up in there. So as you can see, it goes up here like that. Then it comes up here. You see we're like that and the coupler's like that. So I think I'm gonna put a 45 in here. Probably cut the 45 pretty short coming out of the throttle body coupler. And then down here and I'll just chop this off and uh, put a coupler on that for now. And uh, that'll be this uh, cold side of the intercooler all knocked up. So right now I'm just trying to line this up with this pipe to see where I need to cut it on here. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So I'll go ahead and I'll cut this pipe right there. And then um, we'll have to cut these so they butt up together and we'll put a couple on there for now. Alright, so as you can see in there, we got this upper pipe in the throttle body coupler. It goes down to this blue coupler right here. And then it goes into the 90 and from there it goes underneath and into the intercooler. So that's all nice on that side. So now we're just going to have to work on the hot side of the intercooler. Coming out of there and we'll probably have to do the same thing and end up taking off that tow hook right there to come up. Alright guys, so for the hot side, let me show you what I did real quick. I got the 90 to recoupler on there. And I actually didn't have to end up taking off the tow hook right there. And then I shot the pipe up through that hole underneath the headlight right there. And for now I'm just going to leave it here because I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with the turbo. Because um, most people they'll run like a 90 off the turbo and like weld it on. And I got this um, clamp on that was supposed to be for this turbo. But as you can see it doesn't fit on there. So I might end up just cutting that and then um, welding that on there or getting someone to weld it on. But um, so yeah, I'm going to right now finish up, I'm going to neaten up the distributor and then I'm going to run my oil feed line for the turbo. Alright guys, so I got the plug wires ran to the distributor. I got it remounted there, um, up and down like this. I am going to have to get another plug wire for the number 3 cylinder. Um, as you can see, I have it kind of running here for now. Um, but I think people get a number 4 plug wire and then run it for this mod. So I think you can order it from Toyota or something they were saying, or I'll just look online. I'll probably order that so I can have these all running to the same spot and then I'll be out of the way of the turbo. And for now, I just ran this intercooler pipe up into here 
not exactly sure where the turbo is going to sit yet. So once I get that welded up, I will figure that out. Um, that is all set in position. I'm not going to fire it up because I don't have the manifold on here and we're inside. And uh, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to partially plumb the oil because like I said, I don't know exactly where the turbo is going to sit yet. So I'm going to plumb it in to the sandwich plate and then I'm going to run it probably around the back of the motor, come through here and then come up to the turbo. So I'll go ahead and run that now. So we got this 45 degree AN fitting on there. Looks nice and good. It helps a lot if you put um, this part in a vise and then spin this on with a wrench. It helps hold everything. So now I'm just going to uncoil some length, run it behind the engine, and then I'll connect this up to the oil sandwich plate. All right, so I got it run behind the engine right there. And then it comes out right here. And you want to lube up these threads before you put them together. So I'm going to go ahead and just grab some Vaseline, which should be fine, but you can use anything really, engine oil, whatever. So I'm going to put that on the threads just so they don't score on each other. And then you can go ahead and thread your fitting on and then tighten it down with a wrench. If it's nice and tight, you don't want any oil leaks, that's for sure. So we got that finished up on there. As you can see, it's run nice and out of the way. It'll be under the intake, so not very visible. So right there, and I'll show you the other side comes out from behind the motor right here and then I'm just gonna leave this coil up here somewhere probably just right here and when I get the turbo mounted up I will run it into the turbo but for now I might just plug this end so um, oil doesn't come out or I might just take a pair of vice grips and crush it down so if I do turn it over um, oil I'm spewing out all right so I think that's gonna be it for this video guys just a quick little update Pretty much just trying to get this thing ready for boost. Ran the oil line for the turbo. Ran some intercooler piping. I can't run the oil drain yet because I don't know exactly where the turbo is going to go. And I'm going to have to cut that to length because it's going to be pretty tight with the manifold. So I'll wait on that. But uh, yeah, this episode is kind of just getting it ready for um, I don't know, more progress, obviously. But uh, mainly just getting it ready for the turbo to be plumbed in, which I'm pretty excited about. Then the next episode... Um, I actually got something that's going to help fab up a lot of stuff for this. So um, you probably can guess what it is, but if you haven't yet, um, watch the next video and I'll be showing you what I got and trying to learn how to use it. Alright, what's up guys? It's pretty late and I was editing this video, so I figured I'd just uh, sit down and talk to you guys for a little bit because this video was a little bit shorter. So I figured I'd throw this in here at the end. If you stuck around to watch this and you care, I guess you can go ahead and watch it. If not, I don't care either. So anyways, um, I think I mentioned in one of my previous videos I wanted to try and get an uh, like upload schedule kind of, of uploading every Thursday. And um, I haven't really been doing that. Recently, it basically went from I was at work and we were getting like no phone calls, no work, and basically just doing, you know, little jobs to keep busy. And uh, it went from that to basically the phone's ringing a lot more now and we're out in jobs and I'm going in at 7 a.m. and sometimes I'm not getting home till like 6 or 7 at night, so it's been super busy the days I do have off, I'm just trying to get things done, I need to get done, and look at stuff for the car, you know, still obviously always working on the car, so I want to try and get, I haven't really talked about it, but I want to try and get that car done for, I believe it's April 20th, there's a car meet at Foxwoods in Connecticut, um, it's like a cruise car meet kind of thing, they're going to have a bunch of spots, but that's like my main, main goal, I think it's a little... About, pretty much exactly a month from now, I believe, 20-something, maybe a little bit less than a month by the time this uh, uploads, but that's my main goal. I'll put it up here on the screen when I go to edit this video. I'll throw up a screenshot of it here so you know what I'm talking about. That's going to be my main goal for that car, to get it there as long as it runs and drives. Um, that, that's mainly the main goal. What else is I going to talk about? I don't know, just uh, that, 
and the fact that I kind of want to try and try harder to keep a consistent upload schedule, try to upload at least once a week, try to get things done. So we'll see how that goes. Um, this video is probably going to go up Friday, maybe Saturday. I'm going to try and get up for Friday. It's Thursday night now. Um, probably start rendering it and then uploading it and then have it publish um, Friday in the afternoon so probably get this video up for you guys and then I'm gonna be working on some more stuff got some pretty cool stuff coming um, I picked up that thing I was talking about which if you couldn't figure it out I'm sorry but you're special um, so I'll be doing a video try and learn that probably be another short video just trying to make some stuff and I actually ended up did making a few things um, and then also got some suspension parts for the car um, some coils if you don't know the old one one of them sprung leak they were god speeds which people refer to as like china speeds or something like that and they're kind of shit apparently so i don't want to deal with that and i could tell from turning the adjustment knobs they're not right like if you usually when you turn coilovers they'll like click in the place these are like mushy and i couldn't tell where they were and like i would turn them to where i thought all the way like soft or hard was and they would turn further if you twisted them hard enough so I don't know I'm just gonna get rid of them I'm gonna sell them probably super cheap on eBay or if one of you guys makes me an offer for like I don't know two or three hundred dollars you'll get three of them in the broken one so like my, my cat's attacking me sorry but fucker so yeah um, some good stuff coming for the Supra um, got some things I need to do still obviously it needs a lot of work need to get the turbo mounted up. I need to do wastegate flange on the manifold for the tile wastegate I got because it comes with this weird four bolt one. I need to finish up the intercooler piping for the turbo. I need to finish up the exhaust because right now it just has basically the old cat back on it which is a three inch stainless exhaust. I don't know, probably from eBay. And I need to finish up the rest of the exhaust going to the back of the turbo. I need to get some gaskets for like um, the T4 and T3 flanges, the adapter, it, there's always shit. So I just try to, one step at a time, don't get overwhelmed, just bite off a little piece at a time and you know, it'll get there. I'm hoping it gets there before um, that car meet because that, that'll be really, really cool. First car meet I've never, I've ever brought my own car to. I've been to car meets, but it's kind of just like, oh, let's look at other people's stuff. So that'd be kind of cool to go out, cruise, chill, have a good time. Um, so yeah, I think that'll be it for this video. I uh, hope you guys are liking this, the like 50 people or whatever that watch my videos. But, you know, just doing it for fun. Hopefully you guys enjoy it, learn something, and uh, that's it, I think. So have a good night or afternoon whenever you're watching this. But uh, see you guys, like, comment, subscribe. Oh, also follow my Instagram because I'll post pictures of what I'm doing on there before I mention it in the video because if I want to post something on Instagram, I will. If I don't feel like posting it, I'm not going to post it. So if you want to get some updates on there, random pics of the car, stupid shit, go follow me on Instagram. I'll put it here. And uh, yeah, have a good night, morning, evening, breakfast, lunch, dinner. See you in the next one.